The new year will likely bring crucial developments in the fight to improve our health. In 2017, we've seen headlines about new guidelines for blood pressure and the opioid crisis being declared a public health emergency. Plus, the FDA approving gene therapy for childhood leukemia and how gene editing is spurring hopes that pigs could become organ donors. Next year, we could see new advances in gene editing to cure or prevent diseases. That's good. And better vaccines to fight the flu. Our Dr. David Agus joins us at the table to bring us up to date. You know, all this season, we kept hearing the flu vaccine is not as great as it normally is, but you're saying what to that? Well, the flu vaccine wasn't as good in Australia, but uh -huh. here, certainly the numbers looks like it's reasonable. But even if it doesn't prevent the flu, it's going to temper it down. So get that flu vaccine. It's critical that we have mass immunity in this country to things like the flu. But you're talking about better vaccines in 2018. We always like to get a good shot. So what are you, what, so what are you bringing to the table? There are <laughs> two major advances in the vaccine. The first is one that I had this week, which is a shingles vaccine. Remember, a third of us are going to get shingles. So it's a reactivation of chickenpox. I still old, don't even know what shingles is, to be honest with you. It's a reactivation of chicken pox. <laughs> <laughs> I do know chicken pox. Yes, and it's it makes painful. you need to have things repeated, And it comes too. on hard. It right? comes on hard. It hits a third of us, 200,000 cases a year. The old vaccine was okay, but this new vaccine is recommended for everybody 50 and older. I got it this week. It's a pain in the arm, mm -hmm. but it's going to prevent me from getting a pain across my body in the future. And then it's a universal flu vaccine. This notion of once a year going in and getting a shot yeah. for the flu, hopefully that's a thing of the old. And the new now is we can target not the outside of the flu vaccine that changes, but the inside that's more stable. And so those are in clinical trials now and very exciting. But a universal means you just do it once it's over? or Once, you, have to you do may it be a booster you... a decade down the road. But yes, it's not going to be a yearly shot. That's the dream. We've okay. been hearing about the promise of gene therapy for many years now. Is 2018 the year where it's actually going to come into fruition? It's wild. And so we have this gene CRISPR that edits DNA. And so we saw last year they went into a, a fetus and they actually changed and took away a heart disease. Well, now we're going to see clinical trials across the board in diseases with this technology to edit DNA, a spell checker. You can imagine in the future a child not being bored again with a genetic disease. Mm. But as we know from spell checkers, sometimes autocorrect can say something you don't mean. Yes. With CRISPR, so is true. who is monitoring how they so they don't go too far in editing genes. Do you want to tell us something about something that happened with autocorrect? <laughs> yeah. But no, you really hit an important point, which is I'm not even sure who regulates this. And if we regulate it here, someone's just going to go to Canada and get it done. But yes, we need real leadership here, because while we can get rid of an inborn error of a genetic disease, what if someone wants to make their child bigger or smarter or blonder or whatever they want to do, they conceivably can do. So this is an area like Spider-Man says, with great power comes great responsibility. A lot of ethical questions, surely. And what are your biggest concerns about next year? Well, that's it. I mean, that's the biggest concern is who's in charge. To get normative behavior change, you need leadership. And right now in the health space, which is almost a third of our economy, we don't have real leadership. And so, uh, you know, we did. Mayor Bloomberg was a great health leader for the city of New York. We haven't had a great one since. Can I just say, I almost didn't recognize you this morning because you didn't have on your traditional black sweater. It threw me. And word on the street is last night at the Christmas party, people fell down on the dance floor when they saw you walk in the door not wearing black. This what is what a are you breaking you out of your shell? What are you four doing? Four years ago, and it <laughs> makes me, you know, a little uncomfortable. <laughs> does but I'm it doing really, it. Yes. Does it really make you uncomfortable? To yes. Wear? David. He's a new man with that shingles vaccine. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get you a green sweater, <laughs> purple. Step out of your shell. <laughs> Dr. David Agus, thanks.